So hi everyone. In this video, we're going to tackle a numerical example of our cost minimization process. In particular, we're going to be using a Cobb-Douglas technology production function given as L raised to 0 0.5, K raised to 0 0.5. And we're going to apply okay, our cost minimization process to derive the conditional demand functions for both labor and capital. So if you recall, conditional demand functions are functions of the wage rate, the rental rate of capital and output, and they represent the optimal uh, the optimal uh, hiring pattern of a firm, how much labor they'll opt to hire and how much capital they'll opt to employ uh, given, a, uh, given a, an output target uh, stated in the cost minimization process. So if you recall from our past video when we discussed the cost minimization process, we have two first order conditions. So we have FOC1. It requires that the marginal rate of technical substitution be equal to uh, the input price ratio. And FOC2 requires that we meet, okay, we meet the output target. So to derive uh, those uh, conditional demand functions, we're just gonna apply that using the, pro uh, the production function we have. So using FOC1, using FOC1, we get uh, MRTS, LK, that's just equal to MPL over MPK. So we can compete for that easily, okay? Uh, MPL, okay, so the first part here, MPL is just the partial of the production function with respect to labor. Then this is the partial of the production function with respect to capital. So if we derive this production function here with respect to labor, we're going to get... Uh, 0 0.5 uh, L raised to 0 0.5 K, um, sorry, negative 0 0.5 K raised to 0 0.5 all over. If we derive it now with respect to capital, we're going to get 0 0.5 L raised to 0 0.5 K raised to negative 0 0.5. And if we simplify this a bit, so this is going to be 0 0.5 K, 0 0.5 over L, 0 0.5 over 0 0.5 L 0 0.5 over K 0 0.5 then simplifying it you get uh, 0 0.5 K 0 0.5 times K 0 0.5 all over uh, 0 0.5 um, L 0 0.5 times L 0 0.5 and you're gonna get that MRTS LK is equal to uh, K over L, because this will cancel out 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5, that's just one. You get K over L. Therefore, using that condition, it should be that K over L is equal to W over R. So what we're going to do is we're going to get an intermediate value, an intermediate value. So say, let's isolate out K. So that's just going to be equal to K is equal to... Uh, w over r times l right and then you could do the same for l but uh in this case let's just um uh, isolate with respect to k and um what we're gonna do now is with this intermediate form we're gonna plug it into our second first order condition okay so again the second first order condition requires that a production target is met so remember that's um so using foc2 we're going to get um, Q is equal to L 0 0.5, K 0 0.5. But we have an intermediate value for K. So that's just going to be equal to L 0 0.5, W over R times L raised to 0 0.5. And if you simplify this, this is just going to be equal to um, W over R raised to 0 0.5 times L. So we get, uh, and that's going to be equal to Q. Then all we have to do now is we're going to, uh, we're going to isolate it um, with respect to L. So we're going to divide both sides here by W over R raised to 0 0.5. W over R raised to 0 0.5. And we get the conditional demand function for L, okay, which is a function of W, R, and Q. 
as uh, just gonna be Q times I take the reciprocal of this so that I can put it to the um, numerator so that's R over W raised to 0 0.5 then what I do to get K now is I plug this into the intermediate form that we have so K is equal to W over R times Q R over W raised to 0 0.5 then if I solve for that, okay, if I simplify everything, so notice um, I'm going to be, so this will uh, cancel out, this will have a 0 0.5, this will cancel out, this will have a 0 0.5. I'm going to be left with K is Q times W over R raised to 0 0.5. So these okay, are the conditional demand functions for our Cobb-Douglas technology production function.